Hello, welcome to Q Basic Programming Lessons. Those who haven't watched the previous lesson, that is lesson one, please do watch the lesson one and come back to this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to see the commands let, rem, print, lprint, cls, and end. In Q Basic or in the basic language, commands are given to the programming language to execute some action or to perform some actions. First, we will discuss about let. Let is a command used for assignment. For example, if you want to assign a value 20 to a variable a, you can give let a equal to 20. Now, the value of a is 20. In this case, the value of 20 is not changed. So, 20 is a constant and a is a variable. And here, let is a command or it is an assignment command. Again, if you assign another value to a, that is let a equal to 45, now the value of a is changed to 45, a is variable, the value of a is changed again. When giving the statements in basic language, we use line numbers at the beginning of every line. Usually, we will give the lines 10, 20, 30, 40 in that order, in steps of 10. So, if you want to give this command as a statement, in QBasic editor, you have to give like this 10 let a equal to 20. This is a valid statement in basic language. This 10 is line number. Let is a command. a is a variable and 20 is a constant. 20 is constant because the value of 20 is not changing. Value of a is changing, that's why it is called variable. And let is a valid command in QBasic language. Again, you can assign another value. Let y equal to 35. Here value of y is changed to 35. So y is a variable. Here the value of 35 will not change. It will be 35 always. So 35 is a constant. So now you are in a position to answer these questions. What is a constant and what is a variable? Here we have a short program in QBasic language. 10 rem program to print name. The first statement is saying this program is to print my name. And in the second statement 20 print shaji. So this will print the text or the string or the sequence of characters shaji. And the 30th statement is end. So this is a small program just to print a name or a string. A string means a string of characters. 10, 20, 30 are the line numbers. We have to give the line numbers in a sequence. Preferably, we will give in steps of 10. Rem is a statement used for giving remarks. Here, rem is used to specify the name of the program. After rem, whatever you give, computer will ignore it. And end is used to specify this is the end of this program. Line numbers are given. It is given to identify the statements. There will be many statements. To identify each and every statement separately, we use statements with line numbers at the beginning. Rem is used to give remarks in a program. Or if you want to ignore some statements, in that case also, you can use rem. After rem, whatever is given, that will be ignored by the computer. That means that part will not be executed or run in the computer. Here we have a program example. This is another program. Let b equal to 20. Let b equal to 35. First, we are assigning a value 20 to b and again we are changing it. We are reassigning another value 35 with b. The 30th statement is rem let b equal to 45. So, there is a rem at the beginning of this statement. This statement will not be executed. That means the value of b will remain 35 even at the position of 40th statement. 40 print b. So now the value of b is 35 and 35 will be printed in this program. 
that means the line number 30 will be totally ignored because there is a rum given before the command and 50th line is end. It is showing the end of the program. Please try this program in your QBasic editor and find it out. What is the output of this program? Are you getting 35 or 45 or 20? This is a program, the same one which we have discussed in the earlier screen. You can try this program. And for executing a program, after typing this program in the QBasic editor, you have to press F5 for executing the program. F5 is the shortcut for running the program. This is another short program. Run program for addition. This program is for adding two numbers. In the statement 20, we are assigning let b equal to 20. And next statement we are giving c equal to 35. And let a equal to b plus c. Then print a. The value of b and c will be added and it will be stored in a and a will be printed. The answer will be printed as 55. You please check it whether you are getting the answer or not. Type this entire code and press F5 and see the output. Here you have another program. In this program it is for multiplication. X is having a value 20, Y is having a value 35 and Z is having a value X into Y and Z is printed. So 35 into 20 that value will be calculated and you will be getting it printed on the screen. Type this entire code and press F5 to execute the program or run the program. Print statement or print command is used to print something on the screen. Whatever you are giving after the print statement, if it is a variable, its value will be printed. If it is a string or a text that will be printed as such. String or text will be given in double quotation. Lprint is a command used to print on the paper. CLS is a command used to clear the screen. Whatever there already on the screen will be cleared and you will be getting a fresh screen by using CLS command. Input command is used to get values from the user. Now you are in a position to answer these questions. What is a command? What is the operator used for addition in QBasic? What is the operator for multiplication? What is the command for assignment? What is the operator? What is a remark statement? Why line numbers are used in programs? So what should you do now? Answer the above questions. Try the programs given. And if you haven't downloaded and installed QBasic in your system, please follow the link and you have to do it. Then only you will be able to find the output of these programs. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.